Hey everyone, this is Hyperlight Films and in this Premiere Pro CC tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to achieve that really moody and faded film look where the blacks or the shadow range of the clip is kind of greyish. So I've got this clip on my timeline from a project that I'm currently working on. As you can see, this is a simple shot with no effects applied, just straight from the camera. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can do it and I'm going to show you both of them. As you can see, I'm in my color panel and I've got the Lumetri color tools on my right. So let's jump right in. Basically, a good practice is to do all your color correction on a separate adjustment layer, but uh, I'm just going to do it right on top of the clip because, yeah, why not? Okay, while in the Lumetri color tab, I'm just going to do a very basic color correction to the clip uh, so it doesn't look too bad. Right. Now in the Lumetri color panel you have different tabs like basic correction, creative, curves etc. But to achieve this look all we need is the curves tab. The curves in my opinion are hands down the most powerful color correction tool there is. So when you open the curves tab you'll see your RGB curves and the way they work is that down below to the left this point denotes the blacks or the shadow areas of your clip and the top right point denotes the whites of your clip. So to get the faded look, you're going to add 3 points to the curve, 1, 2 and 3. Now take this point and drag it down a little. This will make the highlight parts of the clip a little off-white. Then take this point and drag it up and you'll start to get that faded look. Ok, the best part is that you can add multiple points in your curve and adjust them to the look and feel that you're going for with your project. One other thing to keep in mind is that don't drag this point too high as you'll start to get weird negative type effect if that's not what you're looking for. Now there is another way to do this but this won't give you as much flexibility or the power as the curves adjustment. Ok, right under the creative adjustment you actually have a setting called faded fill. You can adjust the intensity through the slider and quickly get the look. Now remember. This is actually a quick and dirty way to get that faded look but uh, nonetheless it works fine and yeah. Alright people, thanks for watching, if it helped you give it a like and drop a comment below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for everything filmmaking.